In this tutorial I will show you how to make different kinds of doors with different functions and so on. I will also show you how to make a prop door and I'm going to tell you why you want a prop door. I already made my doors as you can see and this I want this door to slide like this so then I just press Control and T together and make it a funk underscore door the funk underscore door is a sliding door. If you want a rotating door, you take funk underscore door underscore rotating. But I want a funk underscore door. Okay, here you can move. Here you can choose a lot of settings and so on. But I gonna choose. Uh, I just gonna fix move direction. And if you, so, if you, so you can see here. Here you see the door. There we go and. Now you see it's pointing this way, so now it will go like this. If I wanted to go the other way, I just change this to the other way. If I wanted it to go like this, I would have put it up. And now I want it to go like that. Okay, I'm just gonna put this back together where it was. Okay, nice. And also, remember. If you're making a sliding door and you don't want it to look like this, well, it would look something like this. Could look other ways too, but doesn't matter. It doesn't look good. So if you don't want it to look like that, do like this. You put it in one inch more because it will move all its length. So it will move over here, so it will be completely in the wall, so no one will see it. Yeah, and if you have it going the other way, like that, you put this end a little longer. But I don't want it like that. So, okay, there we go. There we go. And now I just uh, flags, use opens, and take away touch opens. So when you press your use switch, it will open. Um. You can also change delay before reset, force closed, blocking damage, um, uh, speed of it, 100 is normal. Well, that's about it with the sliding door. Now we're gonna go to the rotating doors. So you do the same here. Funk underscore door underscore rotating. Apply. Um, speed, yeah, 100. Um, yeah, not really, nothing to change here. And now, okay, we don't want to change this, we want to have it like it is, so let's have it like it was from the beginning. And now we're gonna change this thing, this ball here. Now, if you don't see it, press this thing. Now you see it disappeared when I uh, pressed it, but now it came back again. And you're gonna put it where you want the door to rotate from. So it will rotate around this point. I want it in the corners, so now it will rotate over here. Like. So it will end up like this. Something like that. Okay. That's also about it. Uh, yeah, flags here also. T use opens, take away touch opens, apply. Um, yeah, just ignore the rest. Now I'm gonna make a door that goes up and down, a sliding door, just to show you how to do it. It's really easy. I just gonna change here, move direction here. You change it here, up and down. I want it to go down because it's more nicer. Okay, now I'm gonna make a switch. So I just take up a uh, switch um, button, maybe. Oh, I just take some. Wool. There we go. Where's my mouse? There it is. Okay. Control E. Just gonna. Okay. Just gonna make the switch. 
and maybe a little taller. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, maybe I should fix the door first. I'm gonna, just gonna fix the door. Funk underscore door. I want to go up. Apply. Uh, the labor for is at four. Four's closed. Yes, who cares? Um, use opens. Take away touch opens. No wait. I want to. I want the switch to it. So yeah, no flags at all. Just take it away. And now I can't move my camera. There we go. And now I'm gonna make this a funk underscore button. And um, uh, go into flags. Press don't move. I forgot to name the door. So I'm gonna name it door one. Apply. Now we go up here again. Um, yeah, uh, outputs add one pressed door one and uh, open. Here you can also you can also choose unlock. So if you have the door um, like this, you have the flags starts locked, then you can't open it when you press use switch. So then you then you take in the switch and make it unlock with that switch. Okay, so when when you made a switch to the door, you, you now can make a trigger to the door. So I'm gonna make a trigger. Uh, make a trigger there. Control T, make it a trigger. Underscore mul multiply. Yeah, I can't even spell. Delay before reset before you can use it again. I'm uh, gonna take seven seconds. Um, outputs. Add. Oh, on start touch. Door one. Open. Apply. There we go. Now I'm gonna make a prop door. I already looked how uh, big the door gonna be. Because when you make a prop door, you can't change the, yeah, you can't change how big it is. So, yeah. well, just take up the entity tool, make entity where you want the door, double click it, and make it a um, prop underscore door underscore rotating. Press apply. Now we're gonna browse. I already looked which door I wanted. Door zero three. If I just can find find it. There we go. Press apply. Um. Now you're gonna, yeah, spawn position closed. But as you see, when I did it, it uh, becomes in the ground. So I'm gonna move it up. Like that and I also gonna spin it around like that now you can move it in the right place okay there we go and now I'm gonna Um, don't change this, it's right speed, you can change if you want to. Open direction, you can open both directions if you want to. The label for reset, um, 10. Flags, use, closes. Huh? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, that's about it. Now, why do you want a, a prop door? Well, prop doors got handles on them, and when you pre press your use switch on it, it, the handle will go up and down, and so on. It just looks nice in game, and it's yeah, it's it's better. So I'm just gonna so save the map and run it.